Quads again, and today we are going to be doing some Zentangle inspired art. Zentangle art is a kind of art where you do lots of repeated patterns, and there are lots of things that you can do. We've got some sample tiles right here, and right here, and some rocks that were painted, and then Zen tangled on top of with a black sharpie. There are just lots and lots of choices. But today we're going to do a basic tile. And in Zen tangle, you do tiles. Zen tangle, official Zen tangle tiles are three and a half inches by three and a half inches. Mine's a little bigger because I like it a little bit bigger. We're going to start by putting a little dot in each corner. Oops. And then the lines that you draw called strings and I'm going to make a string there and a string there. Whatever black pin you have is fine. This one's a sharpie which I don't usually use on paper but it's what I had here. But whatever you have is fine and even colors if you want to do colors. I kind of like to make a border around mine so I'm going to make another set of strings right here so I kind of make it like a frame. And then once you get that all done, one of your jobs is going to be to go searching online and to find some tangles. You don't have to think on your own about what to draw. You want to look for some tangles that you're going to use. So I'm going to make a string that goes here and one that goes there. And now I'm going to tangle in all those spaces. So here's one of the tangles that I found. At the end of this video, we're going to put some websites that you can use to look for tangles. This tangle is called Quilted, and this is called a step out because they're showing you step by step by step what to do. See how light those lines are? They're telling you do those lines in pencil and you'll be able to erase them later. So I'm going to do my quilted one down in this section. I don't have a ruler with me, but I've got this that's a straight edge. And so I'm going to just choose one line. I like the popsicle stick because then I know that it's always the same width. I can just go on both sides of my popsicle stick. So I'm going to make my grid first. And see how straight across that I can go. There we go, just about here. Oh, I think I made this one a lot smaller than I did before. Hmm, that's all right. All right, so now I'm ready for my pen because this is the part that I'm going to erase. And now I'm just going to make squiggles in here. Squiggle, 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 squiggle that all stay in that box. And however you want. And there really aren't any mistakes because if it's a mistake, you just kind of make it into something new. There we go. So that's one of my sections. Already is all filled up. So I'm done with that tangle. I'm going to look for another one. Actually, one of the tangles I'm going to teach you today is one that I forgot to bring with me. And I could go back later. I don't have a good eraser. I could go back and erase those grid lines. It's called Crescent Moon. And to make Crescent Moon, I'm just going to start making shapes, kind of half moon shapes all the way around. If I get to a corner, I just kind of do that. I'm going to make all these shapes. And you can play with these. You don't have to do them exactly the way they are. Even when you find the patterns, a lot of times you find the tangle pattern somewhere online. And then after that, they have what they call variations. So they do all kinds of different things with them. So here we go. And then I'm just going to keep drawing around each one of these. And I can decide how many times I want to do that. I kind of like it when I go at least three, usually. So I'm going to go one more set of those. And kind of when you start to run into things, just stop. And then this spot in the middle, I like to fill in black. Almost looks kind of spider web like there in the middle. And, and it ends up different depending on which shape you've got. All right, so there's two of my sections finished. Now I'm going to look at... Another kind of wavy one. This one's called Cuddles. And I like the way these step outs show you one piece at a time what to do. And I usually just start with my black marker. I don't worry about pencil first. And just kind of do the best I can to make this shape that they made. 
Oh, and then it shows you to make these lines on the outside next. So I'm going to go, hmm, like that, and like that. And then next it shows me to fill in these lines. And I like to not do things too close together because you kind of run out of room. And then, oh, these lines kind of go this way. You want to pay attention to things like when the lines connect and when they don't because that will help you make your tangles look the best. And mine aren't all the same distance apart. It doesn't matter. You just kind of do whatever feels right. And you'll end up finding some tangles that you really like to draw and other tangles that you do once and go, you know, I don't need to do that again. And that's okay, too. The other thing that you can start to look at if you're looking at tangles online is shading and starting to use some shading to show a little bit of shape. If you shade this one right, it looks really cool in 3D, but I'm not going to shade right now. And I've got one more here. This one's called Chard, and it's another one that I need a grid for. So I'm going to get my popsicle stick back. And I like to just kind of choose where I want the middle to be, and I let the edges run off the edge because it's kind of crazy anyway. So I'm just going to do both sides of my popsicle stick. And actually, you know what? This one I could have done with the marker because the grid is actually a part of the pattern. So you know what, I'm going to change and do that now. Alright, so it shows me that the very first step is to make this grid. And then the next step is going to be to make diagonal lines like this. I like to start someplace where there are whole squares in my grid and then figure it out from there what they should do next. So this one goes this way. So one line goes one direction, and the next line goes the other direction. And that one. This one should go back that way. And then i got to start making straight lines across these. And these lines go down. So I'm just going to go across and down. And once you start having fun and find some tangles that you like, you can do all kinds of things with Zentangle. They call it, if it's not on a tile like this, they call it Zentangle Inspired Art. I have seen really cool pictures with an animal with all the different parts of it filled in. Or I found one online that was an ice cream cone. And it looked like a soft serve ice cream cone. And then all the different swirls of the ice cream were different tangles. So you can start putting tangles anywhere you want to. I'm not going to finish that right now and I can do something in the border if I want to also. Sometimes I like really simple things. One, two, three lines and a little heart. Two, three and a little heart. The thing is just to make it be patterns. You want to do something over and over again, slow down and just focus on those lines. It can be really nice to do. I like to do these before I go to bed. My kids even did them at class, in school before they took a test sometimes. Time to get them focused and paying attention to one thing. I know I turned my hearts this way. Easier for me to draw. All right, and so I can finish that up later. But I just wanted to show you some things that's in tangle and then you can decide what else you want to tangle. If you want to tangle on a rock, if you want to make a picture frame, anything you want to do where you go and find some tangles. And like I said, at the end, we will um, post the, some of the websites where you can find tangles. Again, if you have some fun with this, if you tangle some things this summer, please go ahead and take a picture of them. You can share them on the Camp Laverne Facebook page. You can share them in the comments. Go ahead and, and do that and let us see what you did.